express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. We're here. This is my Technique Tuesday video. Today, tonight's video is very simple. Very, very simple. And it's not something um, unique. It's something that um, people have been doing. But I'm just going to um, show it here just in case somebody hasn't seen it. Um, it has to do with the bubble wrap. I show um, me using this yesterday in the video. This is a very, very old technique. A lot of mixed media artists use bubble wrap to add texture to their um their art mixed media art pieces and so i'm going to show how to back your bubble wrap that's what i'm gonna call the um the um the the, the video back your bubble wrap and um yesterday i had showed this in a video even prior to my journaling video and I mentioned how I wasn't going to use this for Technique Tuesday. But I don't know. It was just on my heart to do it. I have this back to an envelope. And surprisingly, when I used it yesterday on a piece of um, art for my art on my Bible journaling page, I was surprised how it held up being on this piece of envelope. It's not like it's the thickest envelope. It's not the thinnest either. But And even when I had to clean off, I used gelatos with this. And I had to clean it off. It worked very well. So... Um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to show. I'm going. To, I'm going to use it too when I when I show it. Um. So yes. Yeah, so back that bubble wrap. So what came to me today is instead of using this envelope to show using a piece of cardboard. Look how big that is. Um, I mean how um sturdy that is. This is a sturdy piece of cardboard. I think it came with a product of sorts, but it's not that thick. It's just sturdy. And you can use a cereal box um, or any type of cardboard that you have. So, very simple. And I've used bubble wrap before, but I use it like this. And then, you know, sometimes it just feel it just, yeah, you know, it, it just makes it easier when it's backed. It is a little bit messier when it's not backed, but um, it's not like you can't use it without it being backed. But I just think backing it have, gives it some longevity. So, I'm going to put this to the side. And, um, okay. So, but what I am going to do is I'm not going to just... Um, Make the bubble wrap square because I have one like that already. I'm going to put designs on this bubble wrap. I'm going to maybe, maybe I'll do strips. Right? So that's what I'll probably, I'll do. I'll do strips. I think I'm in frame, yeah. Just to give it a little bit make it a little bit different so I don't know what it's going to look like with me just um, putting the strips but I never did that before I think I only need like three I want one that's even in the front of it yeah some of you put these two to the side I didn't need to cut that much so I'm going to use this recollections tape. This way it'll be down. I don't have to worry about gluing anything. And it'll be done quicker. So I'll take this and just put it down like so. Right. And that's if you don't want the hassle of just going like this with the the um bubble wrap. Got something to put it on. Um, put that here. I'm really enjoying these these tape runners. It makes things easy. Oops, a lot easier. Make sure I got the 
the back of it. Yep. I have a lot of a lot of bubble wrap. I'll probably give some away. Share some. Okay, so that's that. So this is what it looks like, right? So I mean, you could cut out different designs. So what I'm going to use is... I'm not going to adjust for this only because... Um, I'm not going to adjust for it. I'm not going to go through that. I'm, I'm going to actually use... Uh, make a little small a small art card. I'll just stick it inside of my... Um, I have a mini photo album there. I put like practice technique cards and stuff like that so um hold on okay so i'm going to use the gelatos like i did yesterday and then i'm going to also use an ink pad to see how it works i'm going to stamp on this card here so um let me put this so maybe i'll do different colors that's what i think i'll do hold on let me get and since it's three different um strips on there I'm going to try three different colors so I think I'm also going to try like this purple here so I'm like this purple and I'm going to do this pink right and I think I want to do this blue instead so I'll put this back okay so let me see how this is going to work let me move this over I, have a, I don't know if, yeah I'm going to use those for the edges so I'm going to go ahead and lay down the gelatos Gotta be a little bit gentle here. I probably should have wet the stamp first. That probably would help. Let me see if I wet it first. I'm gonna do it off to the side. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the gelato. Yeah, that's better. That made it easier. Okay. I'm gonna put the blue one. Let me check my. Blue. And now pink. Them a little bit more purple. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. A little bit more purple and a little bit more blue. Now what I'm going to do is spritz it. Spritz it over here to the side. Spritz it. Now I'm going to take this card and I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's not going to be like a hardcore stamp. It's just going to probably leave a little bit of texture on it. And that's fine with me. Yeah, I like that. And um, let me do this way. And this one. It's just to give it a little bit of texture. So if you want to add texture to your um, pages, let me do this right here. Pink. It laid down on pretty much a lot of color. And there sure is that bubble wrap pattern on there. And it just makes it easier with that backing on it too. As you can see. You know. Yes. That's cool. Okay. And so you see, it just it gives some texture. And so let me see how it cleans off. Let's see how it cleans off. Because this is not about a perfect impression. This is about just, again, I keep saying that texture because um, I had to learn that with certain products. It's not about um, a perfect impression. Sometimes when you make these DIY stamps, it's um, about, um, you know, having texture a lot of times. But there is a way to make um, make items where it can be like a perfect impression. So, um, you know what? I'm going to dry this 
and then I'm going to ink up my um, ink pad and see what happens there. I'll be right back. Let me clean up this space. Okay, I'm back, and I dried it a bit. And so what I decided to do, I'm going to try the ink pad, right? And then I'm going to also try some paint all on here. So I'm going to actually layer this. So but I just want to see how it will work with the ink pad. Um, mm, I don't like it too good with the ink pad. I think, oh, you know what? Let me see something real quick. Maybe I should wet it. But see, this is not, this is archival. Like, this is not like that pigment paint that has, um, oh, well, it did do something. Oh, but it made it look yucky. But um, I know how to fix that. So, it does do something. But again, this is not, what kind of paint? It's not pigment paint. Because pigment paint, I think, is the one, pigment ink is the one that moves about. Um, And this is not doing that. It's, I, I gotta, I just, my memory, it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not remembering it right now, so, it's okay, um, you know what, oh, 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 let me, I didn't think, I should have thought of this, let me try with the, um, with the, um, distress, the distress ink, the distress ink is different from, this, um, stays on, yeah, you see how that's, that, it stained it, yeah, so that's not a good idea with that. So, okay, but I have a feeling that this will be better. This distress ink because it's reactive. It reacts to water, and I believe I can spritz it and then go ahead and um, place that down, and we're gonna get some type of texture impression. I believe that. Yep, look at that. Wow. That makes a big difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. A big, big difference. Yeah. So, with reactive ink pads, it's good. Alrighty. So, I tried that. Let me do some with the paint. Um, I just didn't want to really have like a big mess here, but it's okay. Let me clean this brush off right here. Just have some water. Water it down a bit. So let me dry this a bit. Matter of fact, let me clean this stamp. It's holding up pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, it's holding up pretty well. Because I'm not pressing it down to actually um bust the um the bubbles. But I think even if you do, you're still gonna get some impression, be some type of texture because of the, the plastic. You know, it's it's just textured, period. So I'll dry this. I wish I would have never used like that purple color right there, but it's okay. Um, So now for this paint, right? So I'm trying to think whether I should brush it on or... um, Because I think I'll have to move kind of fast if I uh, brush it on. But we'll see. Some people just take it and they lay it in there and then, um, you know, use it like that. But I'm going to try this way. Make sure it's all lathered up. And then I'm going to go like so. Yep. I'll do it the other way. Should I do it the other? So it's um yeah, it's still working. It depends on what you want to do, you know. Like, I think I wanna do this way because I wanna lay some on the sides here. Look at that. That's good. Okay, lay some on the side here. I kind of like that. Hold on. I think I'm going <laughs> to do the whole inside. Okay, so it works well with paint too. Okay, there we go. So that's a textured card. Let me put this away. Let me clean this stamp off. See what happens. So it's still holding up pretty nice. I think I need another 
white though. But um, I can clean it off. And you see the cardboard is getting wet. That's to be expected, but it will dry. So I'm not concerned about that really. Okay. So it's a little mixed media piece of art here. So that's my stamp over there. I probably could get a few more um, uses out of that. I'm pretty sure of it. Let me put this up. And then I was going to use, make a little card for today's blessing, but um, I will need a clear background for that. So I'm going to use one of my stamps here that I made. Um, and just, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And um, probably just, just Jesus joy. Because today I was thinking on joy. Jesus journal joy. Jesus joy journal. <laughs> so let's see what's here. I needed some hearts. So um, what color I want to use here? Um... I think I'm going to use black. I think I'm going to use black. So, just a quick something. Just to use a page. This is not. That's one thing. Okay. Let me ink this up. These are the stamps I made last week. I did make a video where I used them, but that, the footage had gotten. It was a big thing with that. I, I mentioned it, I believe, in another video. Something happened with the video when I uploaded to YouTube, and then I had turned around and deleted my um, footage, thinking it was up there that it wasn't. So, oh, I like that. And so now, okay, and so I'm going to with the hearts. I think I moved it over a bit. I may smudge that. Yeah. Okay. I didn't do a good impression. Or was it still wet? I think it was still wet. I wonder if I can still go back. I'm going to try it again. Now, that's going to be very daring because I can't see it. And I don't have, like, you know, a stamper to see where I'm stamping. So, this is risky business that I'm doing right here. Hold on right here because I'm not. I'm going to have to see if I can line this thing up. I'm going to try it. Why not? It is me just playing around. With a technique of sort, so okay, not bad, not bad. So this is just for me to have a little play time with a technique, and so let me dry it. And I think what I'm going to try to do is outline these hearts with this acrylic paint pen that I have here from Deco Arts. Why not? Since. Why not? I think this is my last video for the. And so it's this right here. So. Okay. It looks like the color metallic, so I think I'm just going to go around the heart a bit. I want to do it sketchy. I don't want to be perfect with it. I feel like they look a bit messy. This one looks too good, too perfect. I don't like that over there. Let 
Alright, so I think I'll just do this too. With the border. Let's make it a little bit sketchy. Right. A little bit sketchy over here, make it sketchy right here. Oh, I, I noticed if I use it, I put it on the slant, it makes it a bit more sketchier. That's better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and let me make sure this looks sketchy over here too. Another straight line. Okay, right there. I kind of like that. And then I'm gonna put this back. I think I'm going to darken the edges a bit. I'm going to write on the inside there. But I don't know just what just yet. And this is just to use the technique card. Be quick. Right. I'll, pop, I'll stick it in that photo album with the rest of those little technique and art cards. I used to um follow Cat Hand. And do mixed media art redeemed and restored you know what i'm going to put this down um this is something that um my friend robin gave me today i showed it in happy mail videos and cutouts so i'll just put it here redeemed and restored right like okay and I think what I want to do is use this right here, some little lines. I'll put some lines here. Maybe. Oh, let me use my other journal and genie. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you, journal and genie? Hold on one second. Let me get it out. I'll use this journal and genie real quick because I think the lines are yeah I think that would be better let's see if I can line it up somewhat yeah and I'll take this black marker this one right here I'm just gonna write a little Real quick, quick and fast. Um, put this here and put um, where's a little pen? I don't know if I want to write on my um, with my sharpie pen. Let me see how we'll do with this right here. This is not gonna be that's oh, I'm gonna need a black pen. Oh, I'm gonna use this palette pen and then just dry it. Um, Jesus, you are awesome. Thanks for redeeming me. Yes, Lord. Thanks for redeeming me and restoring my soul and life. I am eternally grateful. Bless, I'll put you out by you. Bless your holy, righteous, righteous name. Amen. Quick, so I just wanted to show me using that um, technique and then doing something with the card. So, and you know what? Um, something else that I can do is I can sketch around this. This, this, you outline the um, like things you paste down. It just gives it some looks it. It gives it some dimension on the page. Let's it pop a little bit, even though you don't may have a pop up underneath. It's just that that it does help. 
stone to give it that dimensional look. You see that? And um, I should probably just go around the letter of the key just a little. Yeah, I'm gonna outline it, but I'm not gonna upline it. Outline it close, so it'll look like um, in between. That's gonna be it for me tonight in here. Yeah, so here we go. So, yeah, back in the bubble wrap, it does help. As you can see, I use three different items with it. I'm sure there's other things you can use with it. And it's already dried. It's already dried. It didn't have much wear and tear. And I mean, I imagine a person could just cut out different shapes with the bubble wrap, too. And, um, you know... And stick it down, and that gives it even more, um, how can I say, texture and creative expression. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of black around the green so it won't be so stark, the green. You know, the more I realize, the more I do art journal, the more um, Bible art journal and journal and things just come to me. A little bit quicker because I didn't even think this through. I was thinking about using one of those, but then I said I'm gonna use this, but everything just you know was changed, and I was able to use something my friend sent me that I got today in Happy Mail. So I'm grateful for that. And I think for the next couple of days, I'm gonna use some of those items. I'm gonna try. Um, um because I don't have any, I didn't um I didn't know what I was getting and I have some projects that I need to do this week. I'm gonna start the fruit of the spirit. I think it's either Friday or um Thursday that I'm starting that. And I know I'm doing the collaboration video with um with Carol. Oh, excuse me. I'm all sipping slurping my coffee. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry guys. I'm sorry you all. Um I'm doing the collaboration video on the book Fervent with um with Carol either starting Wednesday or Thursday, which is tomorrow or Thursday. So we'll see. But that's it. So the bubble wrap, backed bubble wrap, it does help. It's a very simple, simple, simple technique. And like I said, using bubble wrap is nothing new. It's been out for a very long time, for years and years. I just thought to back it with some cardboard because I had backed it on this and this is still good too and even though it's um some of the bubbles have popped I noticed when I still use it yesterday I still got circles so it doesn't matter if it really pops I mean when it's I guess it's just more dimension off the page but as you see um my journal page yesterday it still worked it just wasn't as round the um the markings but I like this I really do so that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.